I ended up working at Foot and Leg um, because I enjoyed the hands-on approach to actually taking care of clients. So I sourced a, a tech, found out tech, who's the uh, provider of Foot and Leg Centre. We joined forces and basically the rest is history where they are, I get to work all day every day with people um, and help them achieve great results without the need in most cases for orthotic devices. Mm -hmm. um, I'm part of business owner of the Glenelg Centre so I run the operations at, at that particular location but I'm also the senior practitioner. So my job as a clinician is basically to diagnose and treat the foot and uh, leg related problems as well as manage the business of foot and leg from our Glenelg operations perspective. The thing that I love most about my role as a practitioner uh, at Foot and Leg Centre is basically the fact that clients come in typically with a situation of pain or discomfort and in the vast majority of cases leave in a positive, happy and pain free way. It's not an instant fix, but the thing I love most is that we know at the end of the day we have great impact on people's lives and the personal reward of that is clients coming and saying thank you. Thank you for helping me achieve walking the dog again or playing a round of golf again. And that's the real personal uh, connection rule that we get from helping people do well. Great. Great. Uh, one was a lady who had seen probably about three to five other practitioners, including podiatrists, before seeing us. Her goal was actually to do a 10 day trek in Nepal, and she had off like devices, had not got success. The deadline was about, I think, three or four months away when I got to see her. And in a short space of time, we were actually able to get it to say, she could confidently go on that trip and do it. And she sent us a postcard to say thank you from that destination and it's stuck on the wall of the hill. This particular lady had, again, had a mole practitioner try and look after her. She had Achilles tendon pain. She'd spent, openly scared with me, about six grand on therapy and it got nowhere. Assessed her case. She was a great candidate for what we do. In literally four weeks time, she had 90% change that she'd not been achieved from anywhere else and she has referred us about 80 clients since because it's been such a successful process for her. Um, a real great example from a younger person's perspective is a young boy I treated called Jonathan, or Jotty as his nickname was. Um, he was just Mr Average in his uh, uh, sporting team at, at school and he had a situation where he developed a pain in his heel and I was preventing him from running and playing and being comfortable. I got a letter from his mother about three months after we completed therapy with him saying that he had just won second prize and third prize and a couple of events on his sports day. And the only thing she could contribute that down to was the fact that we had helped him be more efficient with the way he bent and moved. Basically he could run better, jump further, all those type of things. And fantastic outcome. Really happy and a very proud parent of the fact that such a simple thing had helped him do so much better. Mm -hmm.